Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got some products from the Glowish by Hidden Beauty Collection. So if you guys want to see what I picked up, their shades and everything like that, then go ahead and keep on watching. So like a few other brands this year, Huda Beauty launched their very own skin tint and I thought to myself it would be good to go ahead and try it and see how it compares to some of the other brands that I've seen out there. I will be particularly comparing it to the Fenty skin tint because that's the one that I know the most. So yeah, so this is what the box looks like and it is a £32 product and what it is is a radiant moisture packed skin tint that instantly brightens your complexion and blurs pores for a soft focused dewy finish. I mean, we're obviously gonna go ahead and test that, but I'm telling you guys sort of what the website says. So it's perfect for the ultimate no makeup makeup look. And I think that's sort of the trend this year. So that's what I've picked up is that the no makeup makeup look is in right now, so it makes sense. And this comes in 13 different shades, which honestly, it sounds like not that many especially because there are so many different skin tones out there but it says that they're stretchable and I think this is probably how I had difficulty choosing my shade in the end is that none of the undertones sounded like me or if they had my undertone the shade in general just seemed too light for me so I think the one I ended up picking up has a red undertone. So I picked up the shade Deep Tan which I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now. So this is what the packaging for the skin tints look like and then it's got a pump for the application. Okay. So yeah as you guys can see this is Deep Tan. I'm going to go ahead and pump some of this onto the back of my hand so we can get a shade swatch so I'm not going to put too much on okay it doesn't actually look that bad I think that actually could work for me so that is what that shade looks like and it does feel thicker than a skin tint to me I don't know it just feels a bit like a light foundation and then I'm going to go ahead and swatch Fenty's skin tint in the shade 20 and this is a shade that I know works for me so I thought it would be good to swatch them so the Fenty one is the one below and it is slightly brighter a bit more yellow but not far off actually so it actually could end up working and yeah, the Fenty Skin Tint formula is a lot lighter than the Glowish one. The Skin Tint itself says that it's infused with some good for skin ingredients including Damascus Rose Oil and some Red Bell Pepper Extract. To be honest with you, I haven't actually heard of either of these ingredients, but they're in here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. And now we're going to look at what I was sort of more excited for. I don't know, I'm just really into bronzers. So I did pick up the Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder and I went ahead and picked this up in the deepest shade that they had and that's just because I felt like the shade up was more skin like for me so I went ahead and picked up the shade 5 which is rich and that's what it looks like there. I've seen some people who have a darker complexion than me who picked up the shade number 4 and it just seemed too light. It didn't seem like it did much bronzing and it's got this sort of marbly effect in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the bronzer as well for you guys. On my finger it does look a lot darker than it did in the other videos but as you guys can see I've swatched it there. I don't know you can barely see it and you know there are definitely people out there that are darker than I am. I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but yeah. I do see a little bit of warmth in there, so it, it actually might work. For shade comparison, I have got the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzing Cream here in the shade Medium. And bearing in mind that I believe there are two shades after this shade, I'm just going to show you guys what this one looks like, because honestly, I don't get it. Like there's something that just doesn't sit well with me about a brand who can produce this as their medium shade which I think is amazing and then this is the deepest shade that they've got 
in another bronzer. I feel like that there was room for so much more. But you know, I could be proven wrong. The formula could hit and it could just be the best bronzer that I've ever used ever. So yeah, I'm excited to see what it's all about. So the bronzer retails for £27. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but the skin tint is 32 I think I did, but in case I didn't. And what it says about the bronzer is that it's light as air, non-powdery texture that applies like silk and blends so seamlessly. We swear it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. To be fair, the texture did feel quite nice, I'm not even gonna lie. And it's available in five universal shades, which uh, I don't know about that. The formula is fragrance free and again is infused with good for skin ingredients. This one includes squalene, vitamin E, shea butter, red bell pepper extract and Damascus rose oil. So that was the background and the swatches of the products. We are going to go ahead and apply them and see what this is all about. So we're starting with the skin tint. If I can actually get any of the product out. It was working a minute ago. I'm going to overdo it on the skin tint, that's the problem. Okay, so this is actually not a bad shade. I actually really like this shade. I don't want to use my hands to apply it, so I'm going to switch to a brush. Okay. I haven't used this brush before, so I thought I'd try it and see how I like it. I tend to stay clear of these kind of brushes. I'm not sure why, but we're going to see. So yeah, it's exactly how I thought it would be. I'm talking about the brush by the way, not the product. So I'm going to switch to a different brush because I didn't like the streakiness that that one was giving. When I think of skin tint, I think of a very light product. But this one's a little bit on the thicker side. But I do really like the glow. Because as you guys can see, I've blended it in on this side of my face and not so much over here. There's really no product over here. But it does just look like my skin with a little bit more dewiness to it. So this is actually the perfect, perfect shade for me. So if you are a shade 20 in the Fenty Skin Tint, then shade number 10 is for you. I really like the way this is blended out. But I do feel like the way it looks, it looks kind of sweaty, like I've been sweating. Just because it's so close to my skin tone and everything like that, it matches me really well. But the dewy glowiness of the skin tint itself, it's given Yeah. But I do really like to look glowy a lot of the time, I do. Mm. So yeah, I think it's a personal preference thing. If you're someone who, like me, on a normal day is literally just covered in hydration from head to toe, then this is probably how you're going to want to wear it. But I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer on and then a little bit of powder on the face, just so you guys can see what it looks like muted out. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the bronzer on top. So I've added some concealer under my eyes and a little bit of powder just to take away from the glowiness that my face was given. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, something about this product doesn't really sit right with me. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like the way it looks in my mirror. On camera, I feel like it looks really nice, but I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is because this shade is perfect. It's literally my exact match. I wish I could tell you guys what it is exactly that I don't like, but I just don't like how my makeup is looking right now. I don't like the full face. Yeah, that's really weird that I have this much of a problem with it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and see how the bronzer wears. And I'm going to go in with just a little bit to begin with. and see how it looks. Okay, I do really like this shade, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> it's 
Okay. So the bronzer is definitely the star of this show for me. The skin tint is just, I don't know what it is. I don't know. But I love this bronzer. Like it was, oh, it's like an instant, instant glow. And the thing is, is that I'm not putting a lot on the brush. I'm tapping it once. And it's just giving what it's supposed to give. It might be the concealer that I don't like. Because I really didn't mind how it looked without the concealer before. Just the skin tint on its own was okay. A bit greasy looking, but not bad. So it might be the concealer. Something just isn't sitting right with me about this look. I don't know what it is. But the bronzer though. This right here, that's a hit. I really like this. I'm going to try and add my classic black liner to the under eye and see if maybe that's what I'm missing. Because you guys know I do love my black waterline. Yeah, no. Still not doing it for me. So my first impression is that the skin tint is okay. The shade matches me absolutely beautifully and I do really like the coverage that it's got on it but I feel like the coverage makes it lean more towards a sheer coverage foundation than a skin tint just because I've I don't know is there there's no bracket formula for a skin tint so I can't say that because my other skin tints are have a lighter formula this one doesn't qualify I don't know I'm gonna have to try the skin tint again on a different day and just see how I get on with that but I will update the comment section down below let me know what you guys think and how it looks to you guys and everything because it could just be me and one of those days where I'm just not feeling the makeup I don't know but right now it's just not for me and I just feel like I don't know it's not I don't know. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Not a clue. The bronzer though. This one really surprised me and I think it's definitely up there with some of my favourite bronzers and I am quite the fan of this. So yeah, I really, really like this and I'm excited to see how it's going to look with my usual makeup routine because obviously this one was sort of formulated to go with the skin tint etc but I'm hyped about this. I am actually hyped about this. I wish there was a couple more shades, but I'm hyped about it. I really am. That's pretty much all that I have to say for this launch at the moment. This is sort of just my first impressions. I need to get into it a little bit more and explore that skin tint especially. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think. I am going to go and get back to doing a lot of things because I am super super busy. I do appreciate every single one of you guys that has stuck with me even with my inconsistent posting but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video.